so hello hello everyone so today um, welcome to this uh, uh, end to end machine learning project so this is going to be the 10th lecture of this uh, series and today we are going to actually uh, uh, see uh, the correlation so what is the meaning of correlation uh, a relation is there correlation is there so uh, like uh, we'll be understanding this thing i hope that you are getting some intuition that uh, what it can be like actually we are seeing the relation between the data okay so there are a lot of columns rows are there so um, we'll be seeing that so uh, like uh, next topic is the correlations so since the data is too not large uh, so you can compute the standard correlation coefficient okay so we can actually um, find out the standard correlation coefficient so um, we are going to actually see that what is the correlation first thing so we'll be seeing on the chat gpt yeah we'll be doing it so correlations what is correlations you have to uh, have any google search or any chat gpt so that you will have the idea like if you involve with the knowledge then it will be um, more retained to you uh, your mind so just see thing see this thing that correlation is the statistical measures that describe the relation between the two variables co means two relations means a connection or a relationship you can say so it is actually telling about that what is the relationship between the two variables okay like is there any relation that one is varying then another is varying or one is increasing then uh, other is decreasing one is increasing another is increasing something like that so these all things are there uh, like uh, we will be asking it uh, in machine learning okay so you can uh, read it more you know like in this journey you have to read you have to do the coding and like you have to see the various uh, different uh, uh, different documents so that you will you will when you will explore now it will be your thing it will be not not just like that i will be um, just giving a lecture on this thing and you will be grasping that thing no if you will explore the things then it will be your thing that is a very simple thing yeah so uh, like uh, uh, just see about the types of relation like uh, how many types of relations are there so there is a positive relation negative correlation and no correlation okay so what is the positive correlation i hope you are getting uh, some intuition that positive uh, correlation means that something is increasing another is uh, increasing something like that like temperature is increasing then the sales of ice cream will also increase so i hope you got an idea negative correlation means that one is increasing other is decreasing that is the simple thing like amount of rainfall increases the number of wild fires uh, uh, decreases like when the rainfall will increase the fires will decrease of course or you can uh, say like uh, like when the uh, when the summer will come the sales of the sales of the you can say uh, uh, like winter products like uh, sweaters will decrease so like that is somewhat uh, uh, inversely proportional you can say that negative correlation and no correlation means that there is no relationship yeah like suicide and the intelligence just think that uh, you you have the suicide of 10 it doesn't mean that you will have a higher intelligence than those people who have the suicide seven so yeah i hope you got this thing and uh, there is actually the pearson correlation coefficient that is r which is in the range of minus 1 to 1 so i want to tell you one thing that you can see that how chat gpt is actually help you in uh, learning the things in a very easy way you know like if you search this thing just search this thing i just want you to just see uh just search this thing here you'll get some uh, some good uh, good amount of data so it is actually the ai generated that's why it is quite uh, good you can also uh, see on the medium or uh, like uh, there is a uh, uh, different websites you can explore there so chat gpt is also a very good option to understanding the things you can see here positive correlation is also there uh, negative correlation is there then there is no correlation so these are these are the, all the things now you can uh, see this geeks or geeks website and uh, also 
uh, you can just have a look here. Okay. So a data set is not too large. You can easily compute the standard correlation. Okay. So now every, uh, like between every pair of attributes using the correlation method. So we'll be using the correlation method. Um, so what we'll do, we'll be go and put this thing. So um, actually we have the collab notebook. So that collab notebook link will be in the description. Okay. And it, it is actually the previous notebook that we are using. So you can just exit it from in the uh, description. Okay. So I hope the internet connection is good. Yeah. So I will open it. Uh, this is the housing prices. So correlation is actually uh, like a relation. Okay. So we'll be seeing that how it is amazing that uh, the machine learning will itself, like code will itself give you a relation. You don't have to see manually that there is any relation between the longitude or a median income or something like that. Okay. Uh, so uh, I will just start run all. You can also do like this. So in the previous videos, we have seen this thing. Uh, now we'll be doing this thing. Uh, okay. Uh, so we'll be uh, seeing the code. The code is here. C-O-R-R uh, and this thing. C dot C-O-R-R, this thing. So correlation matrix is quite interesting. Like you can see here. And it is a very small function. So you can use it very uh, thoroughly and uh, we'll be printing it. Okay. So now we'll be printing it. I am copying pasting, uh, but you just write the code so that you will have much more understanding. Okay. Uh, we have defined it. Okay. Now, now it will take, just see this thing. Okay. So uh, these are the correlations. So one thing you need to understand more. That is, I think, okay, that is the, that is the Pearson correlation coefficient. So we'll be seeing about the Pearson correlation coefficient itself. So it actually ranges minus one to one. So what is, uh, what one detects? One is the perfect positive correlation, minus one is the negative correlation and zero is the no correlation. So I hope you got an idea that what is the meaning. Then there is a Spearman rank correlation coefficient. You can see this also. Okay. So a strong correlation, moderate correlation, and these all are all things are there. You can have more look into it if you are interested. So yeah, this is the thing. So we have write the function of the uh, written the function of the correlation, and then we are seeing the correlation of the median house value. Okay, we are going to see the median house value with each of the parameters. Like uh, we have the columns, you can see here that we have the longitude, latitude, uh, house median is like blah, 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 blah. So we'll be seeing this that uh, median house value, how the median house value is correlated with the uh, different type of uh, different columns like anything that is increasing so that uh, median house value is increasing or anything is decreasing and so the median house is uh, increasing, something like that. Okay, so why we are choosing the median house value? So actually the need of the project is that we are going to predict the median house value. That's why we are seeing the relation between it. So now you can see this data, like median house value, Median house value uh, is uh, correlated with median house value. That is one, of course, like uh, the data correlated to itself is the one, like it will be correlated fully. Okay. So uh, there is no uh, a point of it. Then median income is correlated like 0 0.6. You can see there. Then uh, total rooms are uh, 0 0.13, then 0, uh, 0 0.10, then then it is decreasing and there is a minus in the minus. What is the, what is the meaning of minus? Minus is means that uh, population is some that you can see that population is increasing, but the median house value is uh, decreasing, something like that. So it is inversely proportional. So I hope you got an idea. So let's see in the book. Let's see some about the theory that what the theory is saying. So you can see that uh, the median house value tends to go up when the median income goes up. So we have seen before 
that uh, you can see here, like uh, median income is 0 0.6. It means that median income is increasing. So then median house value is also increasing. So uh, when also uh, this was the example and uh, like negative, uh, negative, uh, negative correlation is also like uh, the prices have uh, uh, slightly tendency to go down when you go north, like uh, longitude and lo latitude you can see or population is decreasing, then the median house value is increasing, something like that. Okay. I hope you got an idea that what the thing is. Now, another way to check the correlation is uh, the attributes uh, use the pandas scatter matrix function. So we will be using this function. Okay. So there are uh, 11 uh, numerical attributes. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, like uh, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Uh, in this it is showing 9 I think. But uh, I think uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and the index is 11. Okay. So this uh, this is also included. So there are 11 attributes. So when you will calculate now uh, uh, from the 11 attributes, it will be calculated with each other. Like, um, like A, there if just say that if, if there is a three persons like A, B, C, then everyone will shake hand with each other. Then how much uh, handshake will be there? So there will be, on, uh, of course, uh, like, uh, so uh, not take the handshakes, I will say, uh, uh, like, if we will be uh, seeing the relation with 11 to 11, then there will be 11 multiplied by 11. So 121 plots will be there. Okay, fine. So we will be copying this code and just paste it. And we are actually seeing, so there will be 121 plots. So if there will be 121 plots, then you will be like confused that which one to see. So actually we are taking, uh, I think four. Yeah. So we are actually uh, taking focus on the four uh, plots like median house value, median income, total rooms, house median age, which are most correlated. Okay. So now we will be just copy and paste it this code. Okay. And uh, yeah. So like uh, this is the graph. So how to interpret this graph? This graph is like, oh, how to interpret this thing? So uh, to interpret this thing, there is one helpful thing is there. So uh, like uh, you can say that, uh, that, okay, so it has plotted the thing. The, the main thing is that, like you can also uh, see a particular type of uh, graph by this code. You can see, but first I want to see this thing. This is actually the, uh, you can say a key, you know, like if there is line, then that is one. Okay. So like uh, one is the correlation. If there is somewhat a scatter than the 0 0.8, it is uh, scattering more than it is decreasing. So if it is scattered more, then it is more, uh, more uh, scattering. So you can see this, like this is a uh, slant like this, this is slant like this. So seeing this thing, you can interpret uh, the data that uh, what the data is actually saying. Okay. So uh, just let's see this data because there is something uh, in this data actually. Something significant is there. That's why, because you know, we are doing what we are doing that medium income has the correlation of one with the median house value. So that's why we are plotting it and you can see the graph is here and that is the straight line. That's why the correlation is one. I hope you got the idea. So this is quite interesting, I will say. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, see some theory uh, about this thing. But first, the correlation is indeed quite strong. You can clearly see the upward trend and the points are not too dispersed. Okay. Now, second, the price cap you noticed earlier is clearly visible as the horizontal line at the uh, 500,000. Okay. So you can, it is clearly visible that there is a price cap of the five, 500,000. So like it is limited at the 5,100, sorry, 500,000. So 
like uh, you can see it, but the plot also reveals other less obvious straight lines a horizontal line around the 45 hundred thousand you can see here uh, like here is also making somewhat somewhat horizontal line and uh, you may want to try removing the corresponding district to prevent your algorithm from learning okay so you can see that uh, like there are some also from the another round the uh, 350, uh, 100,000, 280, uh, 280, 100,000. Uh, okay. So you can see here, um, like it is making somewhat, uh, you can see that you can remove it corresponding districts to prevent your algorithm to reproduce this data quirks. Okay. So, like maybe it can uh, uh, do some overfitting of the data. That's why uh, we'll be removing that. So, this was the whole thing about the correlation coefficient of the various data set. I hope you got an idea that what the thing is. And in the next video, we'll be seeing, um, we'll be just uh, going through this thing, correlation uh, matrix. So actually we just, we'll be just seeing this thing in this, this video also. Like hopefully the previous sections were given the idea that uh, you can explore the data again, the insights, and you have identified some data quirks uh, that can uh, find to clean up. Okay. so. For the cleaning of the data, you can clean that uh, data, which is not important much. You know, just there are a lot of scattered data is there. You can see in the in between this and here is the more solid fat data. You can say, yeah. So one last thing you want to do is that preparing the data for the machine learning. Okay. So uh, one thing is there that is various attribute combination. What is this thing? For example, the total number of the uh, rooms in a district is not very useful. If you don't know how many households are there, just see, just focus this guys. That total number of room in a district is not very useful. That you, like, you don't know the how many households are there. Like how many uh, houses are there. Uh, it, if you don't know this thing, then the number of rooms in a district will not determine the thing that what is the, what is actually going on. So what, are really, what you really want is the number of rooms per household. Like number of rooms per house will determine that how, how actually the, um, the value of the uh, house is actually changing. I hope you got an idea. Like the, uh, like in the, in your room, in your uh, home, there is, uh, let's say five, five rooms. Then, and then there is a one, uh, other, another, uh, house th who have, uh, three, uh, three rooms. So of course the five rooms will, uh, will be more chances of having more price. So I hope you got an idea. And if you will take the complete uh, number of uh, rooms, like eight rooms uh, in the two houses, then you will not get an idea that which uh, house is more uh, expensive. So this was the whole thing actually. And it is not very useful. So what we are going to do that uh, you probably want to compare it to the number of rooms and the population per household seems like an interesting attribute combination to look at. So let's have a look here that what is actually happening. And for more clarity, we can use chat GPT also. So uh, we'll be just copy this thing. Okay, so you can see that it is actually dividing it. That uh, rooms per house, we are actually adding three columns like room per house, bedroom ratio and people per use. And we are just dividing it by the total rooms divided by household, total rooms divided by uh, total bedrooms divided by total rooms and something like that. And you'll have the idea that what is actually going on. So we'll be just calculate again the correlation and we'll be seeing this thing again. I know this video is actually uh, getting somewhat longer, but have some patience so that you'll have a very clear understanding that what is actually going on. You can see here, like uh, the, there is some change like people, uh, people per house is actually in the negative. Okay. So th if there people will uh, have less in the house, then it means that uh, median house value is increasing something like that. So 
not bad like new bedroom ratio is much more correlated with the median house so you can see here like uh, there is a ratio where is ratio okay okay hold on bedrooms ratio okay bedroom ratio yeah you can see here the bedrooms ratio like if there is a, a bedroom ratio is less then the house value median house value will be more okay bedroom ratio will be less than okay so what is the bedroom ratio just have a look bedroom ratio is actually total bedrooms by total uh, rooms okay 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 so like uh, if there will be more bedroom then there will be less house less price i don't know why uh, this thing is happening but we'll be seeing this thing okay much more related uh, than the number okay okay apparently houses with a lower bedroom you can see that uh, it tend to be more expensive so this is i don't know like uh, how it is like how it makes sense but yeah the data is something like that that the lower bedroom ratio tend to be more expensive and number of rooms per household is also more important informative so this was the actually uh, this is actually you can say that attributes combination like you have to think about the thing that uh, how the data is actually distributed and how it is correlated and all these things so like data manipulation is really uh, integrated uh, integrated thing like uh, uh, you have to think and you have to see the data and you have to apply the many uh, algorithms uh, many data augmentation augmentation technique like correlation is there one so uh, uh, you have to apply to get the more insight and once you get your prototype up uh, running and you can analyze its output is gain more insights and come back to the exploration stage so you after getting the insight that how you model is there you can also come back and do some exploration that if i can modify the data in such a way that uh, uh, algorithm will uh, get uh, more insights then um, it will be awesome so we'll be seeing the prepare the data for the machine learning algorithm so at like we are at the end of the data processing that will be just prepare the machine learning algorithms and we'll be seeing that how to clean the data uh, how to clean the data and um, We'll be also seeing scikit learn. So scikit learn is uh, recommended for it. You can uh, also have a look. And uh, I hope you like this video. I hope that uh, you understand the what the correlation thing is. And uh, correlation means the relation between the uh, two variables. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe this uh, uh, channel and uh, share it to the people who are really interesting interested to uh, study.